Irony alert. As we celebrate Indigenous Peoples Day, those explorers ushered in a wave of devastation for tribal nations, perpetrating violence, stealing land, and spreading disease. We must not shy away from this shameful past and do everything we can to address the impact. And we must honor tribal sovereignty, <laughs> embrace our trust and treaty obligations, and ensure tribal self-determination. Literally saying that settlers came to a land and used violence to steal the land of the indigenous people and that we must do something to repair the, the damage that was done to those people who were impacted by the settler colonial land theft. At the very same time that you're watching and endorsing and funding Israel's settler colonial domination of the Palestinian people. How dare you? How dare we as Americans sit there and talk about and, and feel good about ourselves, especially you liberals. Oh my God, we're, 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 we got the right consciousness. We got the right state of mind. We got good politics. We criticize Columbus Day, good for you. But you, all, but you celebrate Israeli Independence Day. How do you reconcile those tensions? You cannot. You know why you cannot? Because they're irreconcilable. You're either for decolonization or you're not. For justice or you're not. You're either here to protect indigenous rights and indigenous land or you're not. It, it seems like you are on the not side of the equation. Kamala Harris deserves a, 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 a slight applause for criticizing Columbus Day, a little more applause for calling it Indigenous Peoples Day. But other than that, if it isn't matched by action here in the States or a, a change of course in the Middle East, then this is all just lip service.